Cause it's what I long and long Without a clue Without a sign Without a question yet The real question to be asked Where have I been? I'm a chef chauffeur At this masquerade Hiding both face and mind I'm free for you to draw I'm a chef chauffeur What a shit to be But don't take off my mask Revealing dark Nothing to be found A mirror right in front of me That's where I find An empty glass Reflection does the truth It's everything what's all to be told I need the mask I'm a chef chef At first masquerade Hiding both face and mind A free way to draw I'm a chef chef Chained up to my core But don't take off my mask My place to hide There's nothing inside When it always me Burning down the walls Is that a way For me to break I'm a chef chauffeur At Booth's Masquerade Hiding both face and mind A free for you to draw I'm a chef chauffeur Have no face to show Please don't take off my mask My disguise Give us it what I long 
Alright, what's up everyone? OJ here. Welcome back to another PE Live. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Today is May 20th, 2019. We have the nightcap for you guys. So we're going to be going over a lot of cool information. I'm actually feeling a lot better, uh, not at this point, than I was earlier because I had a late start to the day um, for my uh, regular PE Live. For those, uh, the replay is already up on the channel so you guys can see it. Like, um, I wasn't quite 100% just because I was still just kind of waking up because I was up late. And just my whole sleep schedule was jacked up. But I'm actually, things are back. Um, I went to the gym, came back, had something to eat. So I'm feeling a lot better. Um, so, uh, so yeah, it should be good. And we should be getting right back on schedule when it comes to everything. Um, I already have tomorrow morning's video um, shot. I just have to edit it. 
So that'll be up for you guys tomorrow morning. We're going to talk about Astral Chain. A lot of different content when it comes to Astral Chain. Everything that I've dug up and just some other stuff uh, when it comes to questions that you guys have asked me. So uh, Astral Chain video tomorrow morning. And then we're going to get right back to uh, game streaming. So we should have a nice long stream uh, tomorrow um, with video games. I'm not really sure. what I think I'm going to play like Sonic Team Racing. If I, if I feel like going to Best Buy, we'll play Sonic Team Racing. If not... I'm just going to download Resident Evil 4 and play that. So it just depends on what I feel like doing um, tomorrow morning. Uh, so, yeah. So there's that. Um, uh, so <clears throat> what else in terms of Ninja News? Uh, yeah, like I said, the, the earlier PE Live is already up. Uh, the video that I had on um, uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, that's already up as well. So check out all the content that we've already done for today. Well over... Uh, you know two and a half hours of content or something like that for you guys today already on the channel or two hours and something minutes because it's 10 minutes so two hours and something minutes of content for you guys to watch and then with today's video obviously i'll be more than five hours of content to watch so a lot of cool stuff man um so yeah shout out shout out to everybody there um when it comes to uh anything else um nope i think that's it for ninja news all right so let's go to get into the, let's get into the shout outs uh big 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 shout outs to robert bear thank you man for the, the kind words about the community i appreciate that man i mean no matter what people are always going to say one thing or another but at the same time like you know i'm looking at it and i'm like yo this is like the greatest community ever so thank you guys so much for being here i appreciate all the support and love you guys give me so thank you man um all right anything else i think that's it i think that's it all right shout outs uh, yeah, thumbnail's fixed now. Sorry, guys, with the thumbnail. It was the same as the one earlier. I just I made a new thumbnail, but I just forgot to upload it. At least I thought I forgot to upload it. Or I... No, I thought I uploaded it, but it didn't upload. So it was just the same th thumbnail from earlier. So I was like, what the heck? I, I didn't even notice. Uh, I thought it changed. But anyway. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and get into this here. Uh, Walt Koopa is here. What's up, Walt Koopa? Andrew Gaming, what's up? How's it going? Uh, Princess Lavinity, what's up? Uh, Ty, what's up? That My Hero shirt. Yeah, it's a nice My Hero shirt though. Um, I like this shirt. It's actually super comfortable. It's like super comfortable. It grips your arms, but it's not too tight like around right here. Or maybe because I lost weight, it used to be tight. But it wasn't. But I mean, it's not tight anymore. That's what matters. But yeah, this this tight uh, this shirt used to like. Oh my gosh, it was not comfortable at all. I, I did lose some weight. So, but yeah, it's comfortable. I love this shirt. I got it on Amazon for those who are wondering. Yeah, you can find you can find like My Hero stuff on Amazon. Uh, so yeah. Uh, thank you, though. I appreciate that. Uh, Dank Meme. Uh, Muhammad Cohn, what's up, man? Bowsette, what's up? Braxton, what's up? What is My weekend's good, man. Uh, and shout outs. Thank you for being here. Appreciate that. Um, let's see. VC, what's up, VC? Uh, T Dude, what's up? Welcome back, T Dude. Streamlabs, what's up, Streamlabs? Gunslinger, Leading Ninja Gunslinger's here. What's good? Five Nights at Freddy's, what's up, man? Good to see you here, man. Good to see you. Crystal Kite, what up? um yeah i'm very aware i'm very well aware that all those games release uh tomorrow um i actually reported on it in pe news <laughs> and uh in various different uh live streams and stuff so yeah i'm very aware that those games are coming out tomorrow uh, -huh. uh some dude says what's up how's it going how's it going some dude what up uh gameland what's up man how's it going dawson 31 what's up man uh robert bear what once again uh let's see here crystal kai josh joshua what's up man deadlock seven what's up man thank you so much i appreciate that matthew jenkins what is it Dragon Gamer, what's up? Curtis Tech, how did I lose weight? Uh, not eating. Uh, blanket six, <laughs> no, exercising, going to the gym and watching what you eat. Um, let's see here. TH3, what up, man? TH3, party man, shout out to the Ninja Party Man. The reigning guy, the bodyguard. Chuba, what's up, Chuba? Good to see you here. Gunslinger, what's up, Gunslinger? Rilo, what up, Rilo? Good to see you here. Phil, what up, Phil? Um, how's it going? um uh yeah my backlog is increasing too uh hold on to random questions towards the end is it car car noctis hold on to random questions towards the end or until i ask for random questions and then once we do that then we'll get you going we'll get you going yo shout outs kenyatta ali with the re i think that's the re membership kenyatta ali so shout outs to kenyatta thank you so much welcome back to the elite of the elite ninjas among player essence thank you so much for your pledge i do appreciate that that went ahead and hit us we got our goal let's go thank you so much i think that's 165 yeah that's definitely 165 so i appreciate that you know the deal kenyatta ali we've got the discord for you on the community tab you know we've got the uh, emotes so thank you so much you can play some games against us so yeah it should be fun it should be fun <laughs> thank you so much Kenyatta Ali, I appreciate that. And thank you for letting us hit our, we hit our goal. So shout outs. We hit our goal. So let's see here. So. There we go. So because I love all of you guys. 
Um, I have a Twitch, um, a Twitch Prime. They gave me. Oh, what the hell? What happened to it? Oh, dude, it like disappeared. No. What the? Oh, dude, did it really disappear? Where'd it go? Okay, there, we, there we go. All right, so I have a uh, Crunchyroll thirty days. Okay. 30 days of <laughs> of um, anime that you can watch, okay? 30 days of anime that you guys can watch. Um, both for free. Crunchyroll's dope. You can download Crunchyroll on pretty much everything but the Switch at this point. So if you have an Xbox One, you have a PlayStation 4, I have a code for that, all right? And I'll be giving that code away in just a bit, all right? I'll be giving it away in just a bit. So we're going we're gonna to have a drawing for the code, okay? And like I said, 30 days of the of the premium crunchy roll. Trust me, you'll be hooked. You're gonna be like, oh man, the crunchy roll is awesome. They have so much anime on there. Uh so yeah. So shout outs. Um not on 3DS. Not on 3 I don't think it's on 3DS. So yeah, we are 10 away, guys. We're trying to get back to our Fire Emblem Three Houses or trying to get to this goal for Fire Emblem Three Houses. So we're pretty close. We're pretty close. Hopefully we can uh get there by the time that the game comes out. Um, so yeah, shout outs. Uh let's go ahead and let's change this though. Um, every single time we do hit a goal, I will be giving away something. There will be some type of giveaway. So, um, so yeah. So we'll give away that crunchy roll code uh, in a bit. Crunchy anime, <laughs> no crunchy roll. Crunchy roll's dope, dude. Um, all right, Curtis Tech, what's good? Um, I see Greggy Waggy. What's up, man? How's it going? Good to see you here, Greggy Waggy. Keith uh, Brisbane, what's up, man? Ad free, yeah, ad free. It'll, it's thirty days of the ad free crunchy roll. Crunchyroll with ads is almost unwatchable, dude. It lags so much, and there's so many damn ads. It's almost, it's it's not like a YouTube video, you know what I'm saying? Where there's ads in that. It's it's not like that because like you're you're gonna want to watch a lot of episodes of, of of anime. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna want to like, you know, just watch like one video. That, okay, I get my information, whatever. There's a couple ads, but like Crunchyroll, like I said, it lags and it's just, dude. Like the in my opinion, the the free Crunchyroll is horrible. <laughs> So, uh, so yeah, I got to go with that premium crunchy roll. Got to go with that premium crunchy roll, man. So, so yeah. Um, all right. Uh, physics final tomorrow. All right. Um, uh, good luck. There you go. That's the word that I was looking for. <laughs> good luck on your physics. Uh, John Duncan, what's up, man? Um, how's it going? No, no Atari VCS. No, no. Um, ASD, what's up, man? How's it going? uh mage from twitter what's up my boy good to see you here man good to see you like always dragon gamer um braxton says crunchy sock okay blue bolt what's up running gun user blue bolt in the house usagi what's up lusagi or usagi usagi what's up man um i say about whoever misses the queue ever gets this goes about to miss a lot of streams nah you don't watch it during my streams you don't watch it during the streams like i watch anime the only time that I watch anime, guys, is Sundays, and that's why I'm always, like, behind schedule, but I still try to catch up on Mondays, is because I'm watching anime on Sunday. I watch anime to, like, super, super, super late, because that's the only day where I really, I have some time where I'm, like, I'm not super concerned about, like, everything. I just want to take that kind of day off, although I did four hours of streaming this past Sunday, so that also set me back. Um, but yeah, Sundays is when I watch anime and I watch like a ton of Boruto. So it was great, man. I was, I, but I, like I said, I pay for Crunchyroll because Crunchyroll is totally worth it. So, uh, so anyway, yeah, I have a 30 day code for you guys. Um, I have more codes for Twitch prime. So expect, I have some like game, I have some game codes for like PC and stuff. So I'll be giving away stuff every time that we get, uh, we hit our member goal. Uh, I will be giving away, um, stuff. I will be giving away different codes and, um, all stuff like that. So it should be fun, man. It should be fun. Um, all right. Let's see here. Um, just uh, I made a small PayPal donation. Oh, a fire emblem question. Okay, uh, let me check PayPal then. Let me check it. Um, yeah, if you guys go through PayPal, you don't do Streamlabs. Let me know that you that you that you made a that you made a donation, and I'll go ahead and I'll log in because it doesn't pop up on here, so I can't. It doesn't pop up through my Streamlabs. Also, shout outs to um, Andrew Gaming eighty two with the with the Twitch follow. And don't worry, guys. For those who are saying like get into the content, don't worry. We'll get into the content, guys. Trust me, we will get in. Uh, to the con it's a two-hour show so just sit back relax go make a sandwich do whatever you need to do um all right so jeff jeff burns with the doll 99 says in your opinion how is the best way to get into fire emblem um if you have i'm guessing if you've never played it before um 
Fire Emblem if you've never played any but are interested in trying. Should I just jump into the new one and play which difficulty? Yeah, okay, no problem. Um, so thank you for the donation. Sorry for the camera shake, guys. Thank you for the donation. I appreciate that. Let's go ahead and get your name up here. Uh, you guys give some love. Give some sitting on some emotes to Jeffrey. Jeffrey Burns with the $1.99 donation. That does make you the top stream ninja. Um, so um, so let's go ahead and get your name up here. Okay, man? Um, with the $1.99. So I appreciate that. And yeah, the best way to get into Fire Emblem, dude, is like to just like play Fire Emblem Three Houses <laughs> on the normal difficulty. That's the best way because this is going to be the best presentation. This is going to be probably the best. Obviously, it's the best graphics. Um, it's going to be the easiest way to play because I'm guessing that you already have a Switch, so you don't got to worry about 3DS and playing on a small screen and all that. And you know, so I think the best way to get into Fire Emblem is literally just buy the new one. Just put your faith in looking at the gameplay and saying, "Well, I like this." First of all, look at the gameplay. It's a strategy RPG. Will I like this? That's the first thing that you have to ask yourself. Will I like this game? It's strategy. So think of it of turn-based where you move on like a grid map, okay? And you have all sorts of skills and different types of abilities. And you have to try to outmaneuver your opponent. Each person has like different types of uh, like a class that they can learn. And will you like that, you know? So if you've played other strategy RPGs like a Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Or if you've played like a Final Fantasy Tactics. Or if you played like, um, you know, Shining Force. So if you like those, then you're probably going to like this. So think about it. That's the first thing that you should tell yourself. And the second thing, like I said, is just uh, just get into Fire Emblem Three Houses. Don't even try to do the 3DS ones or anything like that. Like Just 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 buy Fire Emblem Three Houses. That's going to be the game that you're probably going to want to play. So yeah. Um, all right. So let's go to move on to the next thing here. Um, all right. So Blue Bolt with the $2 donation. Um, all right. I think it's, I think it's time for... I think it's time for uh, for everything uh, everything Nintendo to be banned, man. I think it's I think it's time for you to go, man. All right, yeah, somebody already banned him. Yeah, I think he's he's pretty much done. You're done. Thanks for coming out to the streams. Thanks for the views, man. Um, you've contributed nothing towards this community, so thank you, man. I pre I appreciate you being here, but now you can just you can just watch and not comment. Um, all right, so moving on here. Um, <clears throat> He said, you're done. Uh, Blue Bolt with the $2 donation and says, can you play Fire Emblem Three Houses? Fire Emblem Three Houses. I haven't I haven't tried Verve uh, just because. Uh, how much is Verve a month? Or VR? Or is it VRV? How much is that in a Verve or whatever the hell it's called? How much is that a month? Um, oh, hold up. Hold up. Sorry, guys. All right. So I got to get uh, my bad on that one. <laughs> I might misclick the button. Blue Bolt, thank you for the $2 donation. It says, can you play Fire Emblem Three Houses main theme? Yeah, we're going to get that theme going for you. I got a lot of stuff going on right now. A lot of people asking me stuff. So I got to had to ban some. Well, somebody else got banned him. But um, but yeah, anyway. <sighs> it's, it's, uh, it's unfortunate because I, I don't think everything Nintendo is a bad person. I just think that he's just not very smart sometimes. So he just says dumb things. So there you go. Uh, sorry about that, man. But yeah, you can just watch. Unless you have the sock accounts. Um, let's see here. Uh, uh, I am in three houses. We can play the Japanese main theme. We, we can't play the, the English main theme, Blue Bolt, because um, that's uh, it's copyrighted. So here we go. All right. Let me know how it sounds, guys, in the chat, okay? Let me know how it sounds in the chat. All right, let's keep it going. Um, dude, Muhammad, don't worry about this dude, man. I don't know why you're worried about him. He has like, he barely has any subscribers. Barely anybody watches his videos. Who cares? Let let him waste his time. Like, let him go after more successful people. He's just jealous. That's pretty much what it comes down to. It's just a lot of jealousy, and he's upset, and he's he's actually mentally there's something wrong with him mentally for him to do to do what he's doing. So I mean, you know, when you, when you talk about mentally disabled people or people that have mental issues, like I mean, I think it's best just to leave them alone and let them do what they're gonna do because he obviously he needs there's something wrong with him in his head, and he obviously is. I don't know if his parents love him. I mean, they're probably regretting that they even had him, you know. So just forget, just drop it, man. It's not a big deal. Don't bring don't bring that negativity here, you know. Um, all right, so moving on here. Let's see. Um, I am not human. What's up, man? Good to see you again. Uh, is premium is ten dollars a month? Yeah, I'm good with the ten dollars a month. Country rolls cheaper, and it gives me the anime that I want. Um, all right. Let's see here. Uh, Arash, what's up, man? How's it going? Um, mm, Greggy Waggy, Deadlock. What's up, Deadlock? 
Exactly. We don't need to pay mind to any of those people. Like, all they want, all they want, all he wants us to do is make videos. To everybody that he talks about, he just wants us to, he wants, he wants us to put his name in the titles of our videos because we're successful and we're and we're we're more popular than him, and he wants to increase his clout. You know, that's that's his way to increase his clout. But nobody cares because he's like I said, there's something wrong with him mentally. So I'm not. I'm not going to contribute to him increasing his clout, but his, his channel's horrible, dude. It's, I mean, he needs to learn how to make his own his own content, but that's all. He, like, there's, but I think there's honestly something wrong with him, and I'm pretty sure his parents are upset that they even had him in the first place. So, I mean, I, I know that my parents are proud of my channel. My parents like what I do. I, my, my family looks at my channel and looks at me and says, yo, like, yo, Francis, like, you know, I'm glad at what you do. Do they do that with him, with the, his content? Probably not, because he's a weirdo, dude. Like, so it's good, man. Just move on um shout outs to hentai lover uh with the doll donation and says uh first off i want crunchy roll for my hentai second is this a sock account uh, this is the real question I i'm thinking it's a sock i don't know if it's a sock account hentai lover but thank you for the doll donation man i appreciate that i do appreciate that <clears throat> um for while well, Fun Funimation would update their anime more quickly than Crunchyroll, but it seems recently they shifted to where debating uh, dropping Funimation and going back to Crunchyroll. Yeah, I just like Crunchyroll. Even if they don't update their anime fast enough, that's fine. I, I usually let a lot of the time pass by, and then I'll watch a lot of the anime, you know? Um, like, like on a Sunday, I'll watch like four or five episodes. And that's what I mean by a lot. It's like four or five episodes. You know, so I don't care if it comes out later than other places, because I'm not freaking fiending, like waiting for the next episode. No, I don't care. I'll wait. I'll wait weeks before I watch Boruto again. I'll wait for the episodes to refill and refill, refill. I don't got to sit there and watch. I'm not like hanging by the edge of my seat for anime like I used to. Like I used to when I was younger, like when I was in college, I would wait for every single episode and everything like that. But I don't I don't do that anymore. I just I just wait for it to go on Crunchyroll and then I watch it. And Crunchyroll, I think it's like six. It's like barely. It's like almost seven dollars a month. So it's cheaper. And I get the anime that I want to watch, which is My Hero, Naruto or Boruto. And that's really all I'm watching right now. So I get my anime that I want to watch. So that's pretty much it. Man. Um, all right, Alucard. What's up, Alucard? How's it going, man? How's it going? Um, how's it going? Don't tag me that you dislike anime, Arash. <laughs> Please don't. That's a waste of a tag, dude. Just say, hey, I, I don't really like anime, but you don't need to tag me. You don't, need to you don't need to tag me with every single comment, guys. You don't need to tag me with every single comment. Uh, Joshua, what's up, Joshua? How's it going? Um, let's see here. If you don't like anime, then you don't like anime. But whatever. Um, <clears throat> all right. So let's go ahead and let's move on uh, to... Uh, I think I pretty much got everybody. Bla uh, oh, Blaze Bradley. What's up, Blaze Bra Bradley? How's it going? Otaku, what's up, man? This is your first stream. Yo, shout out to Otaku. Thank you so much for catching me live. I appreciate that, man. Everybody welcome Otaku to his first stream here. So you guys give him some love. Give him some emotes to Otaku. Um, give him some emotes. Let's go. Uh, let's see here. Uh, no, no, no Game of Thrones stuff here in this chat, man. No Game of Thrones stuff, man. Please. All right. Uh, yo, what's up, Calvin Eero? How's it going, my boy? Good to see you here. Um, good to see you here. Um... All right. Uh, I think that's pretty much everybody. Ty, Blue Bull, Jumpmon. Yeah, I think I pretty much got everybody. I think I pretty much got everybody. Um, Fizz Gig. I think that's how you say the name. I think. What's up, man? How's it going? Um, I think that's it. Um, Andrew Gaming. I got you on Twitch, but thank you for uh, thank you for following here too. Comics, what's up, man? Yo, what up? Yeah, you just in time. We just started up, man. Yo, 04021, what's up, bro? Uh, John Duncan, what's up, John Duncan? How you doing today, my man? Um, Nightmare720, what's up, man? How's it going? Doc Ito, what up? Um, we're not having an anime discussion here, guys. I don't really care what animes you guys think are the best or not the best. Who cares? Everybody's going to disagree anyway, so move on. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get into this main topics, all right? Main topics and uh, leaks. So where are all the leaks? Where are all the leaks for E3 2019? Where is it at? Where are they? <laughs> That's what everyone's asking. Where are the leaks? Last year, we got everything leaked beforehand. The whole show was ruined for everybody except for like a couple different things. And I think here's what's going on. I, Matthew Campos asked me this earlier um, in the early stream. He asked me, he's like, yo, Jay, what's up with all the leaks? Like, what's going on? Are developers just not leaking stuff? Is there just not as much, there's just not as much hype. And here's what's going on, guys. It's a little bit of a combination of both from what I've researched. Now, 
recently there have been some leaks that are coming out. Somebody talked about how there was a leak for Nintendo when it comes to Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD and Twilight Princess HD being at E3 2019 being announced for the Switch. We don't know if they're going to launch in 2019, but being announced for the Switch. And that seems to me more like like a Nintendo Direct type of thing, like a Nintendo Direct type of thing, but you never know. So that's pretty much all I've been able to find when it comes to Nintendo leaks. I was looking online. There was a website, Express UK, so yeah, you guys know about them. Um, but pretty much that's it, man. That's all I really found when it comes to leaks. Um, so, but this whole link to the past thing, I mean, that's really been it. But that there's really hasn't been much. There really hasn't been much at all when it comes to Nintendo leaks. Uh, when it comes to Microsoft and Sony, um, here's or Microsoft. Here's what apparently has been leaked from. And like I said, this is something you guys can listen. This is just rumor, but apparently here's some of the leaks. We don't have any confirmation of anything. Uh, th th this is from Game Rant, and they say there's going to be a new trailer for. This is for Microsoft's E3 press conference. Okay, and once again. We don't know if this is real or not. Who, who knows? But here's what the lineup is for Microsoft when it comes to E3. Um, apparently, they're going to have a new trailer for, for Halo Infinite, which is a holiday 2020 release. Um, they're going to have Gears 5, a full gameplay reveal with September release date. So that'd be crazy if it comes out this September. Gears Tactics, a new trailer with release date. I think that's a mobile game. Um, Ori and the Will of the Wisps, and that's going to have a new trailer plus a release date. Uh, Bleeding Edge, this is a new IP from Ninja Theory, will be a cross-gen sci-fi game, so that might be hype to see. The Outer Worlds, this is a new trailer and release date, uh, so I think that's a, is that like, it's like a weird look, isn't that like a shooter or something like that? Um, I forgot what, I think that's been announced before though. Cyberpunk 20, 2077, got a gameplay trailer and a release window reveal. Um, Age of Empires 4, gameplay reveal, 2020 release date, Fable Reboot. So this is what I'm interested in. This gets my hair kind of like moving just a little bit up. This gets me a little tingling right here because I'm a big, well, I was a big Fable fan. Love Fable 1. That game is freaking amazing. Love Fable 2. That game is awesome. Fable 3 is garbage. Fable, the rail game is garbage. The Kinect game is garbage. Um, and, uh, I love Fable Anniversary. Oh, Fable Anniversary is so good on the Xbox 360. So, yeah, I'm huge into Fable. Um, and, yeah, they're gonna, uh, apparently there's gonna be a Fable reboot, and it's gonna, reboot, and it's gonna be a tease for next-gen Fable game, but the game itself is exclusive to next-gen Xbox for likely 20, for a release in 2021. So, if they do an exclusive next-gen Fable, that's gonna be... I'm buying the next-gen Microsoft system. Pretty much as soon as that comes out, that's when I'm buying the next-gen Microsoft system is when is when Fable comes out. You buy There's probably going to be a bundle. There's probably going to be the game, and you get the system, you know. So I'd be totally down for that. Huge into Fable. Um, still want to go back and play Fable Anniversary, actually. Um, sea of Thieves, so new content for Sea of Thieves. Um, let's see here. Battletoads, uh, gameplay and release date. Let's hope, man. Battletoads, it's been a while. <laughs> Oh snap, yo! What's this? Abaddon, what's the? Tommy Blaster! Let's go! First Toby Blaster of the day! First Toby Blaster of the stream, my boy Abaddon swooping in like the whole Kage. Make sure you guys check out my dude Abaddon. He does some really cool music remixes, has a really cool podcast called The Chillcast, and he was on my podcast last week. If you want to check out kind of his personality and everything, my boy Abaddon, make sure you link your channel in the chat. And uh, he donated $15 to become the top stream ninja. And he says, music request, Xenoblade X, uh, Caldros Day. Absolutely. We'll get that music going for you. So shout outs to my dude Abaddon. Pretty much he's younger bro at this point. My dude Abaddon, younger bro at this point. <laughs> younger bro at this point. Because I'm 45 and Abaddon's not 45. So there you go. Um, all right, so shout outs to my dude Avadon. Thank you, man, for the Toby Blaster. Appreciate that. We'll get your name up on the leaderboard. Let's get your music going first here, though. Xenoblade X. I'm 44 and I'm 45. <laughs> I got you by a year, homie. I got you by a year. <laughs> um, all right, so here we go. All right, you guys, let me know how it sounds here in the chat. 
and let's go ahead and let's get this uh let's get let's get avadon's name up here thank you for the toby blaster though man i appreciate the support on the channel like always Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, Abaddon. Um, I thought you were my... I'm actually 45. I don't know what you're talking about up in Nimbus. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and continue on here with the um, with the content. So yeah, Next Gen Fable, sign me up for the Next Gen Xbox. Uh, sea of Thieves, Battletoads, Project, Project X Cloud info dump. So Project X Cloud stuff. Uh, Shoutouts to, is it Eva? Evactress? Evactress? 29 with the uh, Twitch follow. Thank you so much. Welcome to the Fire Nation. Um, next Gen Xbox. The baseline of the specs of the Next Gen Xbox. And then third party games. Um, and then there's some stuff that they said that has a high chance of happening. So, new Mech Assault game. Uh, Forza Motorsport. Like a tease for the Next Gen Forza Motorsport. Um, let's see here. New Capcom game. Um, some are rumoring it to be Resident Evil 3 Remake, or a new Dino Crisis, more Japanese dev games, um, next-gen Rare game, um, have a small chance of happening, Perfect Dark Reboot, potentially, um, Xbox Game Studios acquisitions as well, possible purchase of IO Interactive, Asobo, and Relic Entertainment. So, there you go. This is all just rumored information. This is all, this is not confirmed. This is not fact. This is not anything like that. This is just rumored information out there. So, there's that. Um, all right. Versus Gaming. Um, what's up, man? Thank you so much for the subscription. Appreciate that. Welcome to the Ninja Village of Clarence over here. Please welcome Versus Gaming. Um, all right. So, um, Evactress, oh, just hold up. Uh, we, we're going to answer random questions or, uh, towards the end. But, yeah, I do like Pokemon. Obviously, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm a Pokemon fan, so I do like Pokemon. All right, so let's see here. So what do you guys think of so far about these weeks that has happened? Um, this is pretty much everything that I found. We're going to talk about Pokemon in just a bit, guys. So hold on to your Pokemon stuff. Uh, but what do you guys think about these E3 Microsoft leaks? I know a lot of you guys have Xboxes as well. Um, what do you guys think about this leak for an uh, apparent leak? Like I said, I, I don't believe a lot of this stuff, but whatever. Um, but let's see. Um, I think it's uh, decreasing interest in E3 from gaming developers and gaming media fading into more homegrown channels like yours that are contributing to the lack of E3 leaks. Um, I think that there's definitely more um, interest from developers to just doing things on their own time, right? Like, why sit there and wait for E3 when you can get Ninja to stream something and probably spend about that amount of money or you can get a, you can get a, you know, you can talk to a, yeah, you can give like an exclusive to uh to game informer or something like that so i think that yeah that's happening um but we're gonna we're gonna have to wait and see man i mean it's interesting i think sony not being there is obviously a big blow i guess right um our hop says i think that part of the uh part of the the dahlia D dala making the perfect dark reboot is bs because they don't even make 3d games they're basically an indie studio is that was that part of the rumor let me see Oh yeah, in development. Okay, okay, yeah. With rare, with rare supervising. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, we'll have to wait and see. Um. Um. Let's see here. Uh, OJ, how's Bingo Night? Don't forget to take your high blood pressure meds. Yo, Bingo Night for forty five. That you don't go to Bingo Night till you're like what, sixties? <laughs> got about got me about fifteen years early. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Outer Worlds is the game by Obsidian Fallout style game. OJ, oh, that that's what Outer Worlds is. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'll probably buy the game and then never play it. Like I do so many games, like like I like I do so many Xbox games. I'm always ex Xbox games are always exciting. I'm like, oh yeah, heck yeah, new Xbox game. It's like twenty, thirty dollars. Let me go buy it. You know, after I wait a while for it, and then I buy it, and then I never play it. Assassin's Creed Odyssey, yeah, that, that, that's one of the games. Um, when you're about 60 or about 70, I would say 65, 60, 65, 70, somewhere in the bingo night. Um, all right. I wonder if it um, if it shows uh, like PAX and TGS and others are make E3 less appealing in Twitter announcements. I think Twitter announcements definitely make an E3 less appealing. <laughs> Twitter announcements and PAX and stuff like that. I think a lot of developers are just saying like 
there's a, there's a lot of competition going on at E3. Yo, what's up, TCRX? There's a lot of competition, uh, comp competition, competition going on at E3, and it just seems like having everything right on E3 and have it being, it's just so much pressure, right? When you have to sit there and do do then your vine for so much attention. Isn't it easier just to pick a day during the year and just say, yo, like we've got this, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think it's just easier for a lot of developers to do that. And Rockstar has continuously noticed this over the past, you know, multiple years that they don't really need to be at E3 showing off everything for their games to do well. So I think a lot of developers are kind of seeing that and just kind of seeing what they can do in order to, you know, change things up. Um, but overall, yeah, man. I mean, who knows? Uh, Princess Lavinity says, uh, leaks or not, I'm just thankful that I have an Xbox One S and Nintendo Switch. And with um, M and N partnering up, there might be some unexpected surprises at E3 in store for us. Yeah, maybe. That, that's that been the whole thing going on here, you know? Um, <clears throat> and you forgot about the fake leak that Miyamoto leaving Nintendo for Microsoft. I didn't even know that's... A, I would not even entertain that type of thing, like... <laughs> that's so silly. That's, that's such a silly thing. Um, that's that's so silly. Yo, what's up, we am? <laughs> um, it's easier, but I'm less hype. Okay, wait. What do you talk about, Dennis J? Uh, Deadlock Seven Outer Words will probably will have cool artwork. OJ, so it'll be one of the collection at least. Yeah, probably, dude. A lot of blocks are like a lot of the the big games have really cool artwork. I, I like Rage's artwork. I just like um. I'm supposed to have somebody sending that to me. I don't know when it's coming though. But if not, I'll just buy the game because it'll be thirty bucks in like a couple, a few weeks. Like it's not gonna take very long for that game to be cheap. It's already not selling up to expectations, so it's just gonna be a bit. And I'll pick it up. I'll pick it up then, and then I probably won't play it. Um, let's see here. Twitter reveals instead focusing everything at E3. Um, yeah, it is less hype. Definitely less hype. But I think that they're going to save the big reveals for E3. You know, there's there's still going to be... Here's the thing. We still have E3, right? So that's still something that's going to be out there. We still got E3. And then we still got, like, Tokyo Game Show. We still got other PAX shows. We still got a lot of stuff left in the year. You know, we still have the, the Game Awards. Dude, to me, like, the Game Awards is becoming, like, a hype type of thing, too. Like, every single year they have something hype at the Game Awards. It's been three years now. 2017. Hold up. Yeah, 2017 and 20... Or two years. Two years down in a row... 2017 and 2018 were super hype for Nintendo, you know, and just hype in general. There was a lot of cool announcements. Like Jeff Keighley does a good job. People give him crap for the Game Awards, but yo, he does a good job. I have a good time at the Game Awards. I think I have a great time at the Game Awards. You guys see the streams. We have fun. Obviously, there's some cringe moments or there's some like, okay, whatever. This game didn't win, blah, blah, blah. But overall, it's a fun time. And it's like, it's cool. You know, it, it's a fun time. And you get great moments like the, you know, at the Oscars, at the Oscars, 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 at the Oscars. You get stuff like that, you know, like, <laughs> you know, you get those type of things that happen. And then like, you get like, like 2017 was magical, dude. That was like the greatest that was like the great, that was like better than E3, you know, like for me, like to see Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild win game of the year, to see Bayonetta 1, Bayonetta 2, and Bayonetta 3 all get announced, my heart couldn't take it. I almost had a heart attack and I was kind of fatter back then too. So, you know, I was almost having a real heart attack. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I'm just joking, guys. But no, man, like that was super hype. And then last year was, dude, Marvel Ultimate Alliance is coming back. Yo, let's go. You know what I'm saying? Like that was super hype, man. So so i mean it was great it was, it was really good um <clears throat> um all right so let's see rilo says i bought rage 2 beat then returned it for money back for mario kart 8 you bought rage 2. dude like why don't you just rent the game rilo why why even buy it at that point you know um why even buy it yo what's up tether gaming how's it going my boy uh oj you forgot mario 3 mario 3 what do you mean by mario 3 um e3 is where all the gamers are focused um focused on while other events get less attention yeah other events to get less attention but, but that doesn't mean that other events aren't important that doesn't mean that people aren't paying attention to other events that doesn't mean that uh that developers aren't moving away from e3 you're saying everybody's paying attention okay well if everybody's paying attention then that's the only way to route to go why does rockstar never go to e3 and their games still do gangbusters so apparently gamers are still paying attention to other forms and other ways of distribution for gaming so so while yeah you're you're right in some regards that it's not the be all end all of gaming gamers pay attention to you know i mean nintendo didn't even bring the switch to e3 the switch the switch before it launched was never at an e3 there was not a single there was not a single e3 that the switch was at before it launched 
So everyone was saying, oh, that, that's a death wish. You know, that's Death March with Torna. You know, like, that's, there's no way Nintendo has to bring the Switch to E3. <laughs> They're like, okay, no, that's okay. We don't need E3 for our Switch. You don't need it. So I don't think it's necessarily like a be-all, end-all, you know? Um, so, yeah. Uh, I forgot to tag you in the comment above. Can you just retype the comment? Do you mean like you love seeing trailers and cool teasers? Okay, is that, is that the comment that you're talking about? Okay, yeah, that, yeah, that's always cool. It's always fun, man. It's always fun. Anytime, anytime that there's events, like gaming events, it's always fun. Like even like the Super Mario Maker Direct was hype, dude. We had like we had like 500 people in here watching the Super Mario Maker Direct, you know? So it's like, <laughs> so like even something like that was super hype. Even that's fun. I, I, like, I like the events surrounding by gaming. You know what I'm saying? Like I like all the events. Like E3 is great. And obviously that's going to be huge for the channel, right? It's always good. E3 is always a good thing for channels, always a good thing for coverage and getting new stuff. But I mean, to me, that's not everything. I don't want everything to be at E3, then nothing to be at anything else. That's how it was when I was younger. It was like everything was at E3, then nothing at anything else, like unless the developer has something to announce. So for me, I mean, I like Nintendo, I like Nintendo Direct. Look, I like Nintendo Directs. I like having a lot of events throughout the year. I don't want E3 to be everything's at E3. I want them to save surprises for Nintendo Directs and for the Game Awards so we can have a nice you know, spread through the year. We don't have to have everything at E3. That's I think that's how some Western gamers kind of treat E3. It's like, everything better be announced or this company sucks. Like, people get so salty about E3 if everything that they want isn't announced. That's fine. It's okay. The Super Nintendo Classic wasn't announced at E3. It was announced after E3. It was literally announced a week after E3. It doesn't, everything doesn't have to be there, you know? Just give us some stuff. Give us some cool things. And then, uh, you know, then we can have some other stuff, you know? <clears throat> So, uh, fun fact, 2017 is the only year where three where three Nintendo Switch games got 10 out of 10 for me. I do hope that Mario Maker 2 and has impressed me to level the uh, of those three games. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's cool. Good stuff. If the Game Awards becomes E3 in December, I'd approve. Well, I don't think it's going to be that. I don't, I don't think it's going to be that. Right? It's all good. Uh, yo, Blanket, my boy, with that... <laughs> Shimmy, <laughs> shout out to Blanket with the five dollars, and he says, "Can you play Out of Phase from Parasite Eve?" Absolutely, I can play Out of Phase from Parasite Eve. I do. I can't. Thank you so much. You guys give some love, give some seringans, give some emotes to my dude Blanket Six Elite Ninja here in the village. So yes, Parasite Eve, which I hope they, I hope we get a new game in that franchise. Not because I'm like crazy into it, it's because I know other people are crazy into it. So it'd be nice for those people that keep on asking about it. Um, all right, let's see here. Parasite Eve, and then out, out of phase. Okay. Um, all right, here we go. Let me know how it sounds in the chat, okay, guys? Deadlock7 says, I think everyone has followed Nintendo's stance on E3. Big announcements are better made on their own spotlight. E3 is more about deep dives now. Less reveals, but some, uh, but still some less. Yeah, I think deep dives are great for E3. Um, I think some reveals are good, but I think the treehouse is super hype. I love the treehouse. I mean, I can make, I, I think I made like 90 videos off of the treehouse footage from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. So I'm a big fan of treehouse. And even back when Xenoblade Chronicles X, I was, oh my God, I was glued to Xenoblade Chronicles X back in like 2015, the treehouse then. So um, I'm down. I love treehouse, man. I think treehouse, it's like unlimited content. It's like Twitch, you know, it's like, tw and, which I've actually started to like Twitch in terms of watching content more than YouTube. Uh, because it's like it never the content never ends you can just find stuff whenever you know and youtube you can but it ends after like 10 minutes or whatever unless you're watching some other documentary but twitch is the live content is great to see people kind of react to the gameplay and all that and that to me has become one of my favorite things about e3 is the treehouse and the streaming and showing off the games it's, it's always super fun man um Last year, E3 Nintendo was all about Smash Bros. Um, I wonder what game they're going to focus on more now. I think they're going to focus on a variety of games because they have more games this year than last year. Some dude says, honestly, gaming would be pretty boring if E3 was the only event. Game announcements are always hype and shouldn't be just for one single event. Exactly. And I think that's that's the reason why I keep on trying to tell people every single year, E3 is not the be all end all. We don't need every single Nintendo announcement in one month like some people are saying. We don't need Nintendo to have the craziest show where they announce freaking everything at E3. Like, we don't need that. Like, what we need is just some some deep dabs into games, some information, when games are coming out, you know. Uh, you know, maybe you get some demos for some stuff, shadow drops for some stuff, some nice surprises. Bam, deep dives with with, uh, with gameplay, man. Treehouse, some tournaments. It's a fun. It's a fun three days for everybody, you know. So, so yeah, man. 
Um, agree. Yeah, Treehouse is dope. Uh, Treehouse is dope. Uh, Arhops, have you heard about the Gamescom announcement show hosted by Jeff Keighley? Um, I think I've heard about something like that, but I don't know all the details. But yeah, I, I did hear about it on Twitter. Um, Zelda's biggest fan since I cut grass for a living, and two years in a row, I was at the same exact house for Nintendo, Nintendo's Direct. Uh, oh, nice. I start uh, Karma. <laughs> Zelda's biggest fan. I don't know that. Just that fate. Or no, not Karma. Fate. Fate. That during E3, thou shalt be at this house for E3. Um, uh, Moon Get Meme during Treehouse 2017 was my favorite E3 thing ever. There you go. Dog says, yeah, I love the Treehouse. Nintendo really into or really onto something there for sure. Well, yeah, because then Microsoft did Treehouse. Microsoft did their own Treehouse too. I think Sony, Sony did their own. Did Sony do their own Treehouse? I know that I know Microsoft did. So yeah, I think that um, yeah, I think that uh, there's a lot of people that do like this Treehouse. Man. Uh, we're talking about E3 and like why there isn't any leaks, uh, Hakeem. So if you have any questions when it comes to E3 and stuff like that, feel free to drop a question, tag me at players, sorry, hashtag players. Uh, check out my videos on State of Play. I've already talked about that various times, our uh, I've talked about State of Play a lot. So check out the videos. Uh, you guys should know what I think about E3 at this point. You guys should know. What, or sorry, what I think about State of Play. I've talked about it a lot. Um, so let's see here. Yeah, um, I love uh, Tree. Okay, I already heard that. Uh, Arash says, OJ, when you get a chance, look at the Marvel Funds. I Look, dude, Arash, you already talked to me about that, dude. And I've, I've already seen it. You've already mentioned that. And I said, I already saw it the first time that you told me that. So yeah, I already know about the poster. But, I mean, and we're not talking about that. So I appreciate it, but you've already told me, dude. I've seen the poster. It's good. It's good, man. <laughs> All right, let's, let's see here. Anything else when it comes to E3, guys? Um, um, I just realized this uh, first E3 after Reggie left. Yeah, it is the first E3 after Reggie. So that's going to be a big adjustment. We've seen E3, or we've seen E3. We've seen Reggie at every single E3 since, I think, 2004. So it, 15 years? 15 years of 14, 15 years of the Reginator at every single E3. And, um, you know, from my body is ready, you know, to also, I'm a, I feel like a purple Pikmin. You know, like there's just all the the memories and all that. That's that's it's gone for right now, but they still live on. The Reginator still lives on. Man. So, uh, so there you go. Um, <laughs> Nintendo uh, player or sorry, my bad. Ty says play essence. Wouldn't Nintendo E3 focus a bit more on Animal Crossing due to no information on it? Well, there's no information on a lot of games though. There's not a ton of information on like Luigi's Mansion. There's not a ton of information on um what else legend of zelda Link's awakening um there's not a ton of information on lots of stuff so i don't think they're going to focus on just one game i don't know why people keep on thinking that nintendo's going to just focus on one game just because of last year i don't know why people are they're they're taking last year and saying that that's going to happen this year i don't know why they're going to focus on a lot of different games they're not going to focus on just one game that's not going to be something that nintendo's going to do last year they didn't have as much content as this year they have more games this year so therefore there's going to be more of a focus on a variety of games so i i don't I don't see why Nintendo people are saying Nintendo's just going to focus on Animal Crossing. No, that's going to be the main focus. Why? They have Luigi's Mansion. They have Pokemon Sword and Shield, which Pokemon's going to be a bigger game than Animal Crossing. So I don't understand why they're focusing all on this game when Pokemon's a bigger game than that. So they're going to do Pokemon. They're going to do Animal Crossing. They're going to do Luigi's Mansion. There's still a lot more games that them to talk about. They're going to do a lot of... There's going to be a variety of games, guys. They're going to... I mean, if you look at E3 2017, they focused on like four or five different games. They had big spotlights on various different games xenoblade chronicles 2 pokemon sun and moon um super mario odyssey and like something else or something like that so i mean i don't really see how this is going to be any different they're, they're going to have a lot of different content to show they've always done that throughout e3s last year they had smash brothers is oh, is like it's a once per generation type of game you know that's completely different than everything else that nintendo does you know one of nintendo's most expensive games to develop one of nintendo's most it's just it has a whole different community attached to it you know what i'm saying so that's the reason why um that's the reason why uh my camera camera shaking uh that, that's the reason why they focused on it quite a bit because that was their biggest game for last year so there you go um let's see i think pokemon will have a separate direct uh before e3 i think it's gonna have stuff at e3 and i think it's gonna have a separate direct as well i think it's gonna have 
I mean, multiple stuff. I think Pokemon's going to be at E3. They're going to show it off because they never miss the opportunity to show off Pokemon at E3. Whenever there's a new Pokemon game coming out, it's always at E3. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, that was at E3. Pokemon Sun and Moon, that was spotlighted at E3. Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, that was spotlighted at E3 as well. Like, they don't ever miss an opportunity to show off e uh, show off Pokemon at E3. So I think it's going to get a separate Direct too, but I also think it's going to be at the Nintendo Direct. I also think it's going to be at both because it's Pokemon. They don't ever miss it. So I don't see why this would be any different. With the last three Pokemon games, we've gotten them. All of them have been at E3. So I don't think this is any different. You know? Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. I'm talking about what they've done recently for the past three years, pretty much. So, two to three years. Uh, we're definitely getting another Fighter's Pass at reveal at E3. Uh, I, another, I think there's going to be another Fighter's Pass character at E3. Yeah, I think there's going to be something. They're going to reveal the next Fighter's Pass character. Yeah, I think that's definitely going to be a thing. Um, <clears throat> was big fan. I, um, I keep forgetting that Link's Awakening is real i'm ready to see it just rip into it yeah me too man i'm ready to get into that game as well man i am ready i am ready to play that game because i never i mean i played things awakening when i was a kid but i didn't really like it too much so let's see if i like this one a lot more um i think at the end of the presentation for e3 uh they will put the video of reggie and and he will say goodbye to everyone i i don't i don't know about that um i don't know about that but we'll have to wait and see um, let's see here. Uh, anything else you guys want to talk about when it comes to E3? Are, are, are we done or do we think we need to move on to the next thing with Pokemon? All right, I think we can move on to Pokemon. Okay, so guys, we have a new Pokemon article from Nintendo Everything. Talk about customization confirmed for Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield. So, trainer customization confirmed for Pokemon Sword and Shield. More info in next month's Koro Koro. So... And um, in a sort of roundabout way, it's been confirmed that you'll be able to customize your trainer's clothes in Pokemon Sword and Shield. In Japan, is it is it unique Uniqlo? I probably said that wrong. Uniqlo um, held a con a contest in collaboration with the Pokemon Company, in which participants could design T-shirts with a Pokemon theme. The winning design will be a mass-produced and go on sale today. The winning design has been revealed. Plus the fact that it will also be available in the upcoming Pokemon Sword and Shield as a customization option for the player character. Additionally, the next issue of Koro Koro Magazine will contain more new information on Pokemon Sword and Shield. That issue will be available on June 21st, however, 10 days after Nintendo's E3 presentation, so it seems unlikely that Koro Koro will reveal a ton of actual new info. So there you go. Um, Pokemon um, customization, character customization is confirmed. Here is the shirt that uh, they, they, that they showed off. It's an interesting shirt. It's a, it's a, a Gyarados, and it's also a, a Magikarp. So nice, not bad, pretty cool. And um, if you guys remember in this trailer, the, the, this kid was wearing like a jacket with like a white shirt underneath or something like that, or something like that. Um, and now he's wearing that black shirt, this same shirt right here. So there you go, customization confirmed for Pokemon. Uh, for Pokemon Sword and Shield trainer customization. So um, it's interesting because some people are saying, well, why do we even need to confirm this? Like, they always have customization. But sometimes the Pokemon company does take away certain features that have been in previous games. So I guess it was cool to, uh, you know, have that be confirmed and everything. So there you go. Uh, confirmed. Um, all right. So let's see. Our says, did you see how much the winning design actually broke the rules because they had sold the shirt online in the past? I No, I did not see that. And to be honest, I don't really care. <laughs> if they didn't catch it, then oh, that's the, that's their that's their prerogative, not mine. Um, all right. I don't like the male. You should always choose the female character in games. You should never choose the male character. Never choose the male character in games. I always choose the female characters. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see two fighters pass characters. They only have until February twenty twenty. Well, I mean that's still like. I mean, if you release a character, if you release a character at E3, and then you announce another character like in September, October, and then they release in the next month, and then you announce another character by the end of December or early next year, and then they release by then, that's pretty much all the characters there, right? Because they have, they already have, they already have Joker, so they have four more characters in the Fighters Pass, right? So yeah, you can release a character at E3, release another character about mid or about September, October, release another character in early January, and you're pretty much done. A few other characters there, and you're done. Till 2020, so that's they still got plenty of time. So yeah, another character at E3, another character um, after that, then another character. So four characters this year: Joker, 
another character E3, another character like in September or October, and then another character like in early 2020, and bam, that's four, uh, that's that's three, and with Joker. So yeah, I mean, yeah, I think they can get it done. I think they can get it done. They got enough months. Um, I see you're a man of culture. I'm always, I'm a man, I'm a, definitely a man of culture. Definitely a man of culture. I always pick, I always pick the, the, um, I always pick the, the, what's it called? The, the female characters in games. It's like, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you guys the reason. I won't, I've only told some people the reason why I always pick female characters, but I just like using a female character. I'm going to say the official reason is I like using female characters. So I think the female characters are cool in games. So there you go. Um, I, no, I prefer playing as male most of the time, but yet you prefer, but yet you make female Snapchats of yourself. <laughs> no, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just messing with you, bro. I'm just messing with you. Uh, <laughs> Oh man, I'm just messing with you, Jamal. Shout outs, dude. Shout outs. Um, oh, it's it's okay if you like if you prefer playing with with the uh, male character, that's fine. I think a lot of people for for prefer playing with the male character. And there's a lot of female character, uh, female people, or female females, or women. I say it right here that prefer playing with women in games too. So I think it goes it goes both, you know. Um. Let's see here. Um, I like that you can change in Splatoon. Yeah, I like that you can change as well. I think that's good. I think that's good. Um, okay, Jumpmon. That might be uh, too much information. Uh, jo Jeffrey says, if there isn't another Smash for Switch, why can't they just make a Fighters Pass 2 or have a few uh, few after the Fighters Pass? Well, they, they could, but they're just, they've only committed to one Fighters Pass because it might be nice to let Sakurai and the team rest, you know, for just... <laughs> So they've only committed to that, but I think really, to be honest, man, like, bro, by the time Fighters Pass 2 or Fighters Pass 1 is done, there's going to be like 80 characters in the game. Like, there's going to be like nearly almost 80 characters in the game. I think that's enough. I think that's enough. And then they can just, I, I personally think that's enough. Whatever characters they give us, they give us. But there's so many characters in the game. I don't know if we need a Fighters Pass 2, to be honest. I don't know if we need a Fighters Pass 2, so. Um... <laughs> uh let's see here arash i don't know why you're asking me these type of questions bro like you be asking i don't i don't stop tagging me with weird old questions man we talking about pokemon sword and shield we talking about po i don't know about your computer bro <laughs> like <laughs> arash man yo yo like i don't know what you bro like Bro, I don't know about your computer, man. You're going to have to maybe get your parents to take a look at it or something, man. Or <laughs> get Geek Squad to take a look at it. Um, Let's see here. The person you spend time looking for. Uh, nah, I, I ain't. No, nah, I'm not banning. I'm not banning him. No, no. Nah. Ar Arash is cool. Arash is cool. He just sometimes asks some weird-ass questions. Excuse my excuse my French. Um... I see your Deadlock 7 says, plus at the end of the day, in a third-person game, you spend a lot of time looking uh, looking at the back view of your character. So, yeah. <laughs> Deadlock 7 is a bit sharp. Deadlock 7 is a sharp man. Nobody else said that. Um, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Tim W says, I really hope we can see Pokemon. <laughs> we can see Pokemon on the overworld, but I'm, I have a feeling they may not. It'll be one hundred percent random encounters only. Yeah, I think it's gonna be more like the traditional uh, Pokemon um, when it comes to the random encounters. But yeah, that'd be dope if you can see them on the screen. Um, FBI open up? Nah, but no FBI here, bro. <laughs> Arash, there's no need to apologize. Be you, my man. Be you. Be you. Be you. We we like you the way that you are. We don't want to we don't want to chase you away here. We don't want to chase you away. So just be you, my man. And uh, you'll be all right. Let me let me answer your question now that I had a little bit of fun with you. Um, OJ, I'm scared. Is it normal for a charging laptop, a charging laptop charger to get hot when you charge your computer? Yeah, that's normal. Yeah, it's normal. But it depends on how hot. If it's like so hot, you can boil an egg on it. Maybe it's not, that's not normal. But yeah, 
because you know the electricity is going through it so it is normal for it to get hot but i mean are you down there like going like this like putting your hand on there like like what do you what are you doing to feel the laptop charging while it's charging though <laughs> like, oh my gosh as hot as oj bruh bruh eh bruh if only if only i was as hot as rgt 85 if i was if only i was as hot as rgt that's what i'm that's what that's what we should all be asking ourselves are we as hot as rgt most of us no we're not we're just not as hot as rgt dude <laughs> oh my gosh uh what i um what i hope to do most is the game will be a lot of exploration and a bit more freedom it can be a little bit more open world and less barriers yeah that'd be nice for the game that'd be nice for the game um <laughs> y'all know what i'm talking about y'all know what i'm talking about you guys know are you guys know rgt be looking good in those videos <laughs> you know he looks good with that freshly shaved lined up beard that he has <laughs> you're looking good man watching basketball during the spawn cast dude <laughs> This man straight up this man straight up like this during this podcast, bro. Just straight up like hey. <laughs> It's great, man. It's great. <laughs> I remember when Spawn was um over one educate and everyone wanted him to take his shirt off. Yeah, yeah. I think people still want him to take his shirt off. Uh <laughs> 1,000 times better. This man making me be like freaking Black Fabio or something. <laughs> I'm not that much better looking. <laughs> oh, you're looking like, talking like I'm like Michael B. Jordan or something. I'm not, I'm not a thousand times better. <laughs> RGT85 is a Knicks fan. Yeah, bless his soul. Yeah. Um. <laughs> um. All right, so let's go and let's move on to the next topic here, guys. We got random questions. If you guys got questions, I've got answers for you. So feel free to drop your questions in the chat. Feel free to drop your questions in the chat. I'll be more than happy to answer you guys' questions. So uh, we've already had a little bit of fun today. I think, like I said, I, I'm feeling a lot better right now. I'm, I'm hydrated more, too. I don't think I was hydrated properly um, earlier in the day because of the, my sleep schedule. So I think I just didn't hydrate. I didn't have any bottles of water in the refrigerator so i wasn't drinking as much so today i'm hydrated i'm feeling a lot better so give me your questions guys and let's <laughs> let's answer these questions with grace and style um <laughs> dude nate can afford a webcam with god <laughs> nate make nate makes enough money to afford a webcam nate nate, nate nate's not like <laughs> super broke or anything <laughs> um dank meme says when uh, when actually i think he has a webcam he just doesn't use it when will you play the spawn crash crew in smash um i don't know if they want to play me in smash so do you like the traditional pokemon games or do you like let's go pikachu more traditional pokemon for me um john duncan says are you excited to play as ellie in the last of us um no not really but i do like i do like her as a character um i like I like the fact that I, I like female lead characters, so that's cool. And so I am excited just to, I'm not even really excited for The Last of Us, to be honest. I'll buy the game when it's super cheap. Um, but yeah, I'm not, because I didn't really like The Last of Us on PS4, but I'm willing to maybe give it another shot. Uh, but I wasn't a huge fan of The Last of Us on PS4. It just didn't really, like, I don't know, it, just, it was just kind of boring. Uh, but we'll see about The Last of Us 2. Um, hype level out of 10 for Nintendo's E3. I'm about a good solid, uh, 8.5 right now and i'm actually kind of hyped for it tether gaming says have you been have you been playing anything interesting on vita nothing interesting on vita lately no i've been i, I played uh the project uh project nimbus or whatever uh that was an interesting game mech game on the switch i played that recently um uh, what's my opinion of cuphead game overall i like it cuphead's really good um are you excited to okay plays ellie though dora two ellie's dora 2.0 <laughs> ellie's the uh, completely like the the all-american all-american dora uh no no i'm good but isn't she she's she's over 18 in this one right i, I don't know i'm just asking <laughs> i don't know her age or anything i don't know uh she's 17 okay well there you go <laughs> 
Oh my gosh. Are you Chinese? Are you Chinese? Nah, but you're uh You're you're on timeout though. <laughs> I'm not Chinese, but I, I you you are on a timeout. Your timeout. Um TY says um <clears throat> uh what what one feature from Pokemon would you love to see return for Sword and Shield? Just like cool end game content is always good, man. Um, cool end game content is always good. Oh, he's getting he's getting all out attacked now. Um, what made you become a YouTube streamer? Streaming? Uh, I just like talking with people about games and stuff, so it was fun. He's getting bodied now. Um, first time I watched your podcast was last Thursday and it was funny as heck man you and Jordan always make me laugh thank you Joe I appreciate that yeah the podcast is freaking hilarious dude because we don't really have too many rules <laughs> so it's just and there's always enough there's always not enough people on there to where everybody can get their amount of time to talk and like make jokes so it's always funny man it's always it's always a funny podcast so yeah I have fun with it Um, are you going to are you going to a major anytime soon for Smash? Nah, I'm not going for a major anytime soon for Smash. Nah. The slot machines game corner and Pokemon needs to make a comeback. Yeah, that'd be cool, St. Lou. Absolutely. Um, Aiden Quinn says, "Let me catch legendaries through special events, please. No spamming on mystery gifts. Yeah, that'd also be good. Yeah. Somebody's always wilding on the stream. Yeah, pretty much. Quake. Once you get to a certain like amount of people, there's always gonna be some people saying crazy stuff, which is fine." It is what it is. Just time them out, and then they'll come back. They'll come back better for it, for the most part. Um, game Corner can't come back because of the ESRB. Well, wasn't the ESRB in place when the Game Corner was first revealed? You know? Like, when the Game Corner was in, like, the original Pokemon, there was the ESRB was there. So, OJ, what do you really want to see in E3? What I really want to see in E3, I want to see um, Astral Chain like in all of its glory. That's what I really want to see. I can't wait to see more of that game. Uh, which house will you choose for your first playthrough? Yeah, my stream playthrough of Fire Emblem Three Houses, I'll probably uh, pick uh, uh, Black Eagles with Edelgard. Uh, Josh uh, LaFrance says, I bought uh, Lacrimosa of Dana after your suggestion. Game's awesome. Thanks, OJ. No problem. You guys know I'm going to recommend good RPGs for you guys to play. So, shout outs, man. Congre uh, congrats on the, on the game purchase. Hopefully, you continue to enjoy it. <clears throat> Do you think they will add any any more modes and features to Smash Brothers? Yeah, I think they're going to add some more stuff. Yeah, I think they're not done yet. Gonna, there's going to be a few more things. I think they're going to add some stuff like break the targets or like home run contests and stuff like that. Um... Let's see here. He says, I see you. All right. All right. You see me <laughs> with the smiley face. The, the Lenny face. Uh, what non-Switch game? Non-Switch game um, are you most excited to see at E3? Non-Switch game. Well, if Fable's there, then Fable, you know. Um, but Ninja Theory's game, that's kind of like what I'm excited to see, too. Yo, what's up, Murdoch Loco? He says, uh, life has been crazy lately. Been missing a bunch of the streams. That's okay. I'm still here. So, shout outs, man. Thank you so much for coming out to the stream. I appreciate that. Um, are you a fan of Colin Moriarty? Uh, not really, but I don't have any problem with him. Five Nights and Freddy's says, your reaction to RGT saying that's fair when Nate talked about Earthworm Jim Creator was Harris. Yeah, man, it was... Dude, that was that was hilarious. That was so much. That was so much fun. RGT is great, man. He's he's a funny dude. He's a really funny dude. Uh, what you think Rockstar's next game will be? I think it's gonna be Bully. I think they're gonna go with Bully. So if they do Bully, I'm I'm, I'm gonna have to buy it because on that, like a current gen Bully would be freaking dope, dude. So yeah, I'm I'm down. If it's Bully, I'm down. I'll buy that game. Bully three. What happened to two? Is there a bully too? I didn't know there's a bully too. 
<laughs> there's only would it be bully three? I think there's only one bully game. Oh, is he gonna pull up on? Uh, there's no. Hey, that's what I'm saying. There's no bully two. This is bully bully. There, it'd be bully two, not bully three. <laughs> Let God like what you talking about. <laughs> I know there's no bully two. That's what I'm saying. Is there? There's no bully two yet. There's there only be one bully two. We, we skipping two out here. <laughs> we skipping two. They just skipped two. Okay. I mean, that's what they did with Super Mario Maker. They went from Super Mario Maker 2 to Super Mario Maker 3 and called it Super Mario Maker 2. So, so yeah. Yeah, there, there's 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 Bully Scholarship Edition. There's Bully Scholarship Edition, and that, that game's okay. Bully 1.5. Uh, Matthew Jenkins says, Do you think there could be a Detective Pikachu game announced for E3? Either a port of the original or a sequel of some kind. Um, I don't think so. I don't think there's going to be a Detective Pikachu game. Did they localize that first Detective Pikachu game on the 3DS? Did they localize that? I don't know if there's going to be something. Hmm. It'd be interesting if there was. One point five comes after Bully one point one 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 point four. Okay, and Bully both Dora and Ellie make make an appearance. They don't, John Duncan. They don't, unfortunately. Or, or, or is that the exclusive PC version of the game where you have mods where you can do all sorts of stuff? Is that where they make their their uh, their mark? Is there? <laughs> oh man. Uh, you think Town will be at E three? If not, when prediction it will be announced? Um, I think Town has a possibility at E3. If it's not at E3, then it'll be at a Nintendo Direct, like the fall Nintendo Direct, like September or so. Did you hear about the NVIDIA meeting? What NVIDIA meeting? What's your opinion on the somewhat lazy port of RE4 to Switch? Yeah, I'm going to be picking it up tomorrow and probably streaming or playing the game. So, uh, but I've heard about it being a lazy port. So, yeah, it's a lazy port, plain and simple. <laughs> I don't really have, I mean, it's a 15-year-old game at this point or 14-year-old game. So, my opinion is it's a lazy port. If you don't like it, don't buy it. That's, I know it's not sexy. It's not like RGT to make a whole video and all that about it in terms of a lazy port and all that. But I'm just not big on complaining about ga old games, you know? Like, if the game's old, the game is old. I'm not going to complain about it, like, a lot or anything like that. If if you if you feel it's overpriced, then just don't buy it or wait for a sale. Like, I, that's always been my stance, though, on stuff like this. So it's not like I'm changing up anything. Just, if it's lazy, then don't buy it. There's plenty of other games to play. Play Sonic Racing 2 tomorrow. Like I said, if I feel like going, if I feel like going and picking up Sonic Sonic Racing, I'll go get it. I might not, I might not feel like getting up and going and getting Sonic Racing like tomorrow. I might wait. I might get it. I might not. <clears throat> Rumors are pointing towards a new Switch hardware again. No, Nintendo already knows that there's not going to be Switch hardware at E3. So no new hardware, no new Switch hardware at E3. Ports are always work. Even bad ones aren't lazy. Yeah, when you talk about like from the developer standpoint, yeah, they still have they still have to put like work into into making it. But he's just talking about how there's like no motion controls and stuff like that. When we've seen we've seen other Resident Evil games come out, right? Like Resident Evil Revelations one and two, they, those have motion controls, um, and this one's not having it in there. So people are like, hey, what the heck? Why not? You know? So so yeah. Um, any tips for finding my secret AirPod, bro? The pro I think the biggest tip is that I can give for you is why even buy AirPods in the first place? Like, stop buying AirPods. You know what I'm saying? Like, stop buying Apple products in general. <laughs> That's my tip. Um, do you think Square Enix has surprises for the Switch? What do you think it could be? Yeah, I think so. I think it could be Bravely Default. I guess that wouldn't be a huge surprise because they already said that they're working on a new Bravely Default. But I think it's time, dude. I think it's time. It's been, what, 20... Bravely, De the original Bravely Default came out and like it released in 2013 in Japan, or something like that. So it's it's time. Bravely Second came out I think 2015 in Japan, or 20 no it came out 2014 or 2015 one of those two, um in Japan. So it's been multiple years now. So it's been three four years since the last Bravely Default game. I think it's time for a new one, man. Um. Of the LA Noir two will ever come? Very little, little to little to know, little to none. Um, Soldier Beast, uh, shout outs, man, appreciate that. And uh, yeah, I see you said sorry multiple times. I got you, my man. Um, 
so yeah, I thought you, I thought you spoke Japanese because of the thumbnail. So sorry. It's okay, man. Relax, relax. It's okay. You just got timed out. It's okay. I time myself out sometimes. <laughs> uh, Deadlock Seven says so. Bravely Third, then cool. I hope Bravely Third. That'd be that. That's my. That's my. You are my dream. That's my Naruto. You are my dream for Bravely Third. Um. Do you think we could get the Secret of Mana collection? Bro, I've given up hope on that Secret of Mana collection. Square Enix lane. Um, in one of RE2 videos today saying that new hardware is coming not at E3. That's all I... Hold up. It was on one of RE2's videos saying that new hardware is coming not at E3. That's all I know. New hardware with what? Well, we already know that there's going to be new hardware coming, right? Like with uh, like the Nintendo Switch Mini or Pro. Like we know that's going, but not at E3 though. So that's already... That's news that we already... We talked about that before, right? Um, um, that's actually Soldier Beast. Just calm down, dude. Just calm down, Jesus. <laughs> calm down, dude. We don't have a rules. Basically, the rules are just relax. You know, don't be disrespectful towards people. Be sensitive. You know what I'm saying? Be sensitive to certain things. Just relax. Just, just chill, man. I don't know. Are you a subscriber here for Small Soldier Beast? Because I'm. Spending... You're, are you a subscriber here? Because you, you, you spamming a lot. Like you, you making a lot of comments. I need to know if you're a subscriber first because I haven't seen you in the chat here. So, yes, just now. Uh, okay, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, the Gamatsu rules. The Gamatsu rules are our rules. Um, we're in Q&A right now, Soldier Beast. So, if you have a, a, a normal question on gaming, feel free. Feel free to ask that. Tag me at players and hashtag players. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions, guys. Okay? Uh, no port begging. You guys can port beg all you want to. No, I'm joking. Uh, no, to be honest, I don't really care about that. If you want to port beg, go ahead and port beg. Um, so y'all, y'all allowed to port beg, but don't expect me to hop on your port begging bandwagon. Because you know, I used to have people hit me up. Hey, OJ. Hey, OJ. <laughs> hey, OJ. <laughs> I need you to promote my campaign to get. Final Fantasy on Switch. I'm like, I need you to promote my campaign to get Kingdom Hearts on Switch. I'm like, I ain't promoting your campaign. I don't care about your campaign. Square Enix, if they want to put Kingdom Hearts on Switch, they're going to put Kingdom Hearts on Switch. They put it on Xbox. So if they want to put it on Switch, they'll put it on Switch. All right, shout outs to um, shout outs to Arm with the tall ninety nine donation. <laughs> he says, "Screw the rules. I have money, bruh. Money cannot buy you to get out of the rules. You know, um, the rules are the rules." No, but shout outs. Thank you so much, Arm. I appreciate the dollar ninety nine donation. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Appreciate it. Um, let's see here. Capcom put that stupid reload feature in Revelations. They did. They did. Um, Tim W says, "What are your thoughts on Final Fantasy VII rumored being just two, ru rumored just being two parts?" They said multi-part, so I mean, I don't know. I guess that's technically multi-part, but I think it would be more than two. But heck, if it was two, I guess it is what it is. Grab the pitchforks! Rawr! Grab the pitchforks! Rawr! We need this game. Um, if they if I think I think they are meaning due to what they said at Nvidia thing. What they said at NVIDIA thing, more things seemingly confirming second gen switch. But yeah, no way at E3, etc. Not news, really. Okay, I need to check that out. Maybe I'll, ch I'll check that out. Um, I didn't see it, Deadlock. So, Deadlock, do you follow me on Twitter? Can somebody link me that article on Twitter, please? The, this whole NVIDIA thing. Uh, Five Nights and Freddy says, um, NVIDIA had meetings today. and said that they're saying that the production of the chips are ramping up for the next model or something like that. Oh! oh! Oh, oh, I, I say, <laughs> oh, I say, I say, Nvidia is talking quite frequently. Um, okay. <laughs> I don't know what to think with that, guys. We have to wait and see, man. Hey, y'all see the Super Nintendo Classic? This is <laughs> what y'all know about a Super Nintendo Classic. <laughs> what y'all know about this? You can um, you can lift up this right here. And uh, you can plug in the controllers and play. Pretty cool looking system, huh? <laughs> uh, 
yeah what he just said okay okay i gotta i gotta research it maybe i'll do a video on wednesday about it or maybe we can talk about it tomorrow day cap during the day for pe live yeah like a day thing dope shirt bro um also do you think we'll keep getting switch tax on games yes yes switch taxes switch tax is life right now from one to ten how mad are you that gta complete edition came to switch how mad would you be if gta i want to be mad at all as long as the Dragon Quest rivals, there's no need for port banging. Bro, that's the truth, right? NIS is going to be at E3. Is NIS going to be at E3? I don't know. I think so. Um, when do you think we'll get Cuphead for physical edition on the Switch? Yeah, I think it's going to come like in like a few months. The PS1 Classic is definitely better. You can tell it's better by so many people just loving the system, you know, and the quality of the games on there. GTA 4 Complete Edition, bring it on, baby. Uh, NIS isn't done soon yet. We have to wait and see what's going on with there. How powerful would a Switch Pro, Switch Pro PS4 power near PS4 or above? Nah, probably not. Because PS4, that's still a big old system. Switch Pros probably would be just something that's a little bit stronger than the Switch. I don't care for the Super Nintendo Mini. I care more about GameCube Mini. Well, there you go. You said GameCube Mine, so I think you meant me. Yeah, great. Bookworm Adventures Deluxe. Okay. The N64 Classic already got announced, right, OJ? No, it didn't. It, it never got announced. No. <laughs> I don't know why people think that it did. It, it did not get announced. There has been no... N64 Classic announced? <laughs> oh, man. Y'all great. Uh, Knack for Switch, says Buster Boy. Nah, we, I'm okay. Knack can stay on PlayStation. Is GTA San Andreas on mobile and not on Switch? How? Because it is. Because it is. There's a lot of games that are on mobile that aren't on Switch. That shirt, that, this shirt is a lie? Dude, anybody can become a hero. Anybody. That's why I love this shirt so much. This is... This is the truth. Anybody can become a hero. Anybody can. You just gotta, you gotta believe in yourself. Even you can become a hero. Yes, you. <laughs> oh, man. Um, Sakon 10 says, yo, what's up, Sakon 10? How's it going, my boy? Good to see you here. Uh, were you talking like Yogi Bear? I was talking like Yogi Bear right now. <laughs> that was my Yogi Bear impression. Sakon Ten says, are Japanese developers uh, financially ready for next gen? You think they're going to keep pushing on good graphics? Uh, there are some there are some next gen, or sorry, there are some Japanese developers that are ready for next gen, but not ready to invest into like some type of crazy dream project. But I think Square Enix would be the only company, really. Um, like super, like Square Enix and Bandai Namco, those would be the two that I think that are really ready. <laughs> Yo, Five Nights at Freddy's with the two dollar shimmy <laughs> and he says can we hear street fighter 2 i think you meant guile you meant guile guile stage thanks for the content yeah man street fighter 2 guile absolutely thank you so much five nights of phrase you donate frequently so thank you man i appreciate the support on the channel and yeah man let's go ahead and get let's get your uh let's get that going and i think it's a it's a good time while we play this guile theme um oh i almost hit this uh, let's see here, Guile. All right. I think it's a good time to give away something. Give away that code. Oh, oh, wait a minute. I don't have Nightbot set up for that code. All right, guys. You guys got to give me a little bit to set it up via... Um, let me see if I can set it up via uh, Streamlabs. Um... Yeah, actually, we're gonna have to wait till next. Oh, we're gonna have to wait till next time, guys. Wait, how much time do I have? I think I have enough time. Hold up, never mind. Um, the it is a thirty day pass, thirty day day crunchy roll. All right, so we're gonna give it away in ten minutes, and everyone's um, uh, subscribers only. Subscribers and moderators only. 
So if you subscribe and or you're a moderator, you're you're down. You can do you you can be in this. Um You gotta follow me to win though. One ticket per person. All right, timer enabled, add, set the price. 30 day, 30 day uh, crunchy roll pass. All right, this is my first time using this, so. All right, so let's see, recent giveaways. Oh, dude, this is silly. It's not working. Yeah, it's. Yeah, my current giveaway is not working. So. Hold up. Yeah, it's just this thing's not working. So we're gonna have to. Let me see. Yeah, I don't have. I don't have anything here saying that. Hold up. Oh, never mind. It is working. All right, let's start the giveaway. Okay. It, I don't know why I'd say nobody's popping up anyway. Some people might, if it works, then it works. If not, I'll give it away before the end of the stream. If not, then it won't work. Anybody can be a hero. Okay, hold up. There we go. Now people are starting to file in here. Let's see. Uh, anybody can be a hero or be good or be good long enough to see yourself become a villain. Oh, okay. Um, all right, let's keep the questions coming guys. If you guys have questions, I've got answers for you. Feel free to um, ask questions. Tag me at players. It's hashtag players. I'll be more than happy to answer questions. Um, have you heard about anything about town? It's been crazy quiet about the game. Yeah, I haven't heard anything else about town. Nothing else about town yet. Um, so yeah. Oh man, all sorts of tickets are going over all over the place. Do you have to put I raffle for for it to, for there to be a ticket? Is that really what you have to put? I don't even know how you did. Is that is that what it is? Oh, I oh, it's telling you to put I raffle to enter. <laughs> it's literally telling you to put I raffle to enter. I didn't I didn't know. <laughs> you guys figured it out before I did, bro. <laughs> All right, so all you gotta do is put it in once, guys. All you gotta do is put it in once, and you're, you're, you guys, all of you guys' names are coming up. This is better than Nightbot, dude. This is better than Nightbot. Nightbot, you're fired. Um. All right. So let's see here. Or sorry, not I raffle. Exclamation point raffle. Exclamation point raffle. Sorry, not I raffle. Listen to stream man. Don't, don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. Yo, J Davy with that stream labs shimmy, and he says. We have to apply the Gamatsu, Gamatsu rules. <laughs> oh, you guys have to go on YouTube. I think, yo, Twitch boys, go on YouTube real quick and put in I ra or put in exclamation raffle if you want to enter in for a 30-day 30-day uh, ad-free pass to Crunchyroll. You guys know Crunchyroll is dope. So, like, look, guys, we're going to start having more giveaways. We got to hit these goals, these member goals, more giveaways. We're going to do eShop games. We're going to do all sorts of stuff. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, is Crunchyroll a good anime service? It is, Jake Brown, and you could win if you subscribe. If you're because it's only subscribers and moderators only, you can win a Crunchyroll pass. You can win a Crunchyroll thirty day, uh, thirty day Crunchyroll pass. Um, I like. I think it's a good anime service for seven bucks a month. I think it's not bad. Playing Smash soon. Uh, we're playing Smash. We're probably gonna play Smash tomorrow. Um, I think I'm going to play Resident Evil 4. I think I'm going to play that game. And then I'm going to play Smash. Um. <clears throat> Yo, shout outs. Can we watch you play the RE4 live stream? Yeah, it'll be a live stream or it'll be an edited video. One of those two. No RE4 spoilers, please. Have you not played it yet? The game is 14 years old. And it's on every single platform known to ban. <laughs> but yeah, no RE spoilers, guys. 
What's your question, Dragon Gamer? There's a lot of there's a hundred something people in here. What's your question, dude? What'd you say? I don't see it. What was your question? Did you tag me? Daniel Snyder says, "Hey, I know this may be off topic. Well, we're in random Q and A, but I just got commented on uh, by you and Marvel Ultimate Alliance three video. Loved it, but I hope you comment because I pointed something out." Um, well, can you just tell me what you can you just instead of me going back into it? Why don't you just tell me what you said right now? That's the whole point of being of it being live interaction. You can just tell me what you said. <laughs> Why tell me? Hey, go into the video and I pointed something out. Just tell me right now. And I'm here. I'm here, ready to talk to you about it. <laughs> oh man. Um, Jay Davy says, uh, "Can you play Sunset Bridge from Persona Five? I forgot to write it down. Oh, it's all good, Jay Davy. Shout outs. Heck yeah, man." Heck yeah, Jay Davey. Oh, and by the way, shout outs to your brand new badges you got there. Six months of support. Thank you so much for being an Elite Ninja for six months plus, man. I do appreciate that. Um, all right, so let's go and get your music going here. Wait, we need to play Gal's theme. What the hell? <laughs> Oops, my bad. All right, we'll play that in just a bit. Uh, what do you want? Let's see here. Sunset Bridge, okay. All right, guys, let me know how it sounds in the chat. Too loud, not loud enough, let me know. Um, if you were to date any video game character, who would it be? Date any video game character? Oh man, that's tough. Um, uh, hold on, let me check. Oh, Sheva. Sheva Alomar from Resident Evil 5, hands down. Yeah. Sheva. Yeah, it, it'd probably be Sheva. I had to look through a list. Sheva. Yeah. Have a, have a picture of him on stream. You guys don't know Sheva from Resident Evil? Right, let me bring up a picture of her. You guys don't remember Sheva Alamore from Resident Evil 5? This is the game that was set in Africa. She was part of like the special forces in Africa and she teamed up with Chris Redfield in Resident Evil 5. Yeah, definitely Sheva. Absolutely. That's 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 the number one. That's the number one. Is it is it Shiva? Not Sheva? Okay. Shiva. Whatever. Shiva. I thought it was Sheva. It's H, it's H E R. It's H H oh well, no S H E V A so I thought it was is it Shiva so Shiva okay not Sheva Shiva Shiva Alomar Shiva 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 there you go so yeah I I, I definitely date uh, I definitely date her uh, no Final Fantasy seven spoilers no. You ever got to pick up a game that you made a list for asking us for what? You've been playing it a week or two of the stream and so said you make some? You try some? Uh, I, I picked up uh, Dragon Quest Builders 2 from what, what you guys said. And I'm going to check out that uh, Atlas game. What's your top three, though? Um, top three... Shiva, for sure. Um... Like, probably the, the chick from Assassin's Creed, she's on here too. So the chick from Assassin's Creed, the um, the one Assassin's Creed, like Liberation, that chick too? Yeah, that's, that, that's definitely one I would date. Um, and uh, I'm trying to see. I, I know this is not a video game character, but she's not like normally from video game, but like Storm, dude? Storm is, Storm is pretty nice. So yeah, like Storm from... Marvel or X-Men Storm? So yeah. Um 
Yo, what's up, Walk Cooper? He says, uh, the thing about stupid about the Switch ports are you want, uh, that they're $30 each. Yeah, that's stupid. So I guess you can uh, not buy it. Date the horror. The horror is great, man. The horror is great. But yeah, those would be my top three. The Liberation Chick, um, Shiva, and Storm. Those three would be dope. Um, Camila DVA, Pyramithra. Okay. Tifa Lockhart. There you go. At this point, they should put Dissidia Final Fantasy on Switch. Maybe. Maybe one of these days. Uh, let me get your music going, though. You said Sunset Bridge from Persona 5, right? Let me know how it sounds. Ms. Fizzle, she's thick and has an education. I don't know who that is. Is that a video game character, char Charity? Or charity? <laughs> um, top five shows to watch on Crunchyroll? I don't know, man. Just wh whatever you think looks cool. Um, Mario, he's a plumber and a doctor. There you go. Lucina? I think there's a longer version of this because I like this song. I think I picked a short one. Let's go with the long one. There we go. Let me know how it sounds. All right. So I think uh, the raffle is over. Let's take a look at potentially who won. Let's pick a winner. All right. Gunslinger, you have won the 30-day Crunchyroll Pass. So Gunslinger, uh, hit me up on Twitter. Let me know it's you. And I'll DM you the code for that 30-day pass, man. Congratulations. Rigged? I can't rig it. <laughs> it's literally done through shoot. I can't pick the winner. Let me know how this sounds, guys. Is it too loud? Not loud enough? How's the music? Let's see. Rebecca Chambers and Tai uh, Takemi from Persona 5. Okay. Magic School Bus, that's a kid's show. <laughs> I remember the Magic School Bus. Oh, I remember who you're talking about. They said video game characters, though. Not like not like uh, cartoons and stuff like that. Thoughts on Tokyo um, Mirage Session Sharp FE? I actually have a video review of that game. So check out my video review, Dennis J. I know you're one of the new dudes. I got a video review, but yeah, I like it. But if you want to know my full impressions of the game, I got a video review. It's actually really good. I like it. Ms. Fizzle. You wouldn't know uh, Mrs. Fizzle because you're 32. I was a... Wait a minute. I watched Magic School Bus when I was a kid. That's the Magic School Bus, right? No, I'm 45. So I, I definitely watch Magic School Bus. Man, let, me, let me check out... Let me, let me see. Let me see this. I hear she's the first person that came up. Wait, hold up, this redhead? No, I ain't dating her. <laughs> um, who's your celebrity crush? Mine is Michael uh, Michael B. Jordan, of course. That's the typical celebrity. I think my my celebrity crush is Michael B. Jordan too, though. Um, I don't know if I really have like a too much of a celebrity crush, um, but. I mean, I always liked when I was younger. I always thought like Halle Berry was very good looking. So I would, uh, I'd probably say like Halle Berry, you know. That's how you guys know I'm old because I'm thinking Halle Berry. You know, me and Halle Berry are, are around the same age. So there you go. Bigotry? Bigotry? How is it bigotry? What did I? What did I say? <laughs> what are you talking about? Against redheads? No, I just said, oh, this redhead, I'm not, I said I'm not, I didn't say I'm not dating her because she is a redhead. I just said, oh, this redhead, from Med I just remember her, and I'm like, no, I ain't dating her, she's crazy. It's not because she is a redhead, it's just because I just realized who she was. I was like, oh, the redhead from, no, I ain't dating her. Not that she's, she's not, she's not ugly, I mean, she's just, she's just crazy, dude. She's not, I'm really feeling not my it. type. Um, yo, shout out to Walt Coupe with the Twitch Prime Tier 1, or no, just Tier one, thank you so much, Wakupi. Appreciate that. I'm really feeling that. Do appreciate that. Do appreciate it. Thank you so much. But no, she's cool. I mean, but she's just, just not my style, man. That's all. 
Fuck my style. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate that. Really feeling that. You guys give some love, some emotes, sitting guns, sitting guns. OJ, uh, not OJ type. Nah, she's not my type. I mean, she's 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 okay, but she's just not my not my style. Not that I, I it's not that I don't like redheads. I think red, redheads can be redheads are cute. I mean, like I like all types of women for the most part, but just not her. <laughs> just just not her in general. Um, top five re girls uh shiva shiva definitely for sure um jill resident evil 5 jill yeah for sure um uh, ada ada for sure definitely um rebecca rebecca and um probably like uh who's the chick from um Who's the chick from Resident Evil Revelations? The girl with the long hair that wears the crazy outfit. Her, too. So, yeah. <clears throat> um. All right. Do you think uh, rumors about Final Fantasy VII Remake having a demo at E3 and then releasing on PSN for PS Plus users after E3 is true? If so, would that get uh, that would get me to sign that would get me to sign up ASAP, <laughs> ASAP Rocky, bro. On that one, if they said PS Plus you just gonna get a get a demo for Resident Evil, bro, I'm signing up. Cause you know I'm just gonna go get one of them cheap ten day passes or something like that, and I'm signing up ASAP. <laughs> uh, Daishi Games, what's up, bro? How's it going, man? Good to see you here. What up? Um, what up? All right, any other questions, guys? I got about 15 more minutes of questions before I got to knock out the rest of this Astral Chain video for you guys tomorrow morning. So uh, ask your questions. I'll be more than happy to answer them. More than happy to answer. In RE4, I dare you to, uh, I dare you to play with only handgun and knife kills only. No big guns ready for the challenge. I already did that when I was younger, so no, nah, that wouldn't be very fun. But yeah, I, I beat Resident Evil 4 on professional. I beat it with only this and... Only doing handguns. Like, I already did all that when I was younger. I don't really feel like doing that now. Uh, you played Astral Chain already? The full game? I didn't, I didn't say that. No, I said I got an Astral Chain video that I got to knock out for you guys where I'm talking about Astral Chain. They didn't say I'm playing the video. I'm not, they didn't say I'm playing the game. The game's not out. The game's not out for press yet. Jessica Rabbit, don't judge me. I'm not judging you on Jessica Rabbit. You think Jessica Rabbit looks good? Good for you, man. Um, any, any, any day one patch update finally out for Saints Row 3 on Switch? Yeah, the patch is up. It should already auto update. Yeah, it did. The patch did update, so you can download it now. Um, so yeah. I don't, but to be honest, I don't really care about motion. I don't use motion controls in games. So like the fact that Resident Evil 4 doesn't have motion controls, that's fine. The original GameCube version of the game, which is my favorite version, pretty much, um, doesn't have motion controls. So that's fine. And then I have the Xbox 360 version and the Xbox One version. And I played those, and those don't have motion controls either. So uh, I know motion controls are good for the game, though, because I played the Wii. I have the Wii version, too, and, and it's good. It's just I'm just not a motion control guy. Um, but, yeah, shout, yo, shout out. Shout, Dennis. Dennis J., one of our brand-new Elite Ninja here, uh, with the $5 donation. And he says, or I think it's British Pounds. He says, uh, can you play Swear to My Bones from Persona 5? Absolutely. Thank you so much, Dennis J. You guys give some love. Emotes sitting got to Dennis J with the uh, with the donation, and uh, we'll get that music going for you, my man. All right, so let's let's check it out here. Um, Persona Five has so much good music; it's crazy. Guys, let me know how it sounds in the chat once it starts up here. Did you get RE0, um, um, any of its DLC cut for the Switch? I didn't get RE0 yet. It's not out till tomorrow, so I haven't gotten it yet. Deadlock7 says, did the patch uh, sort out lots of mentioned issues, OJ? Um, from what some people are saying, no, not really, but Digital Foundry hasn't tested it out yet, so I, I gotta test it out myself. Um, I messaged back a couple times, what is what I said in the comments? 
I'm missing it, man. So, I mean, like, you want to just tell Daniel Snyder, just tell me what you said. Let me see. Let me see. Did you tag me? I mentioned what I said in the comments. Can you can you just put what you said? Just just tag me and put what you said, said man. I'm scrolling up. I didn't see it. Um, Cherry says, uh, you have any you have any funny quick stories about someone hitting on you? Uh, you have to turn them down. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do, but I ain't gonna say them. Like, like I said, if we hit some type of goal, I'll tell you something. But I, I ain't gonna say because they're they're embarrassing. So I ain't gonna say I ain't gonna say nothing. Let me see. If we, maybe we get we get one or two more sponsors. To the, we get another sponsor. I'll tell you guys a funny story with a girl hitting on me. But I, I ain't saying nothing because they're embarrassing. Uh, <laughs> one of them might watch this, so that's another thing too. Um, Tell the Discord. <laughs> I got funny stories of girls hitting on me. Not like I'm a chick magnet or anything like that, but I got I got a few funny stories. I messaged back a couple of times. Alright, you're you're a fan. Let's see here. We getting closer to Bloodstain. Uh, Bloodstain ritual of the night. Yeah, man. June. Like June for me. Um Shadow King says, Do you think Nintendo may remake Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks for Switch? Uh, those games were held back by the stylus controls. I don't know, man. That'd be a lot. That'd be a big remake, man. That'd be a big remake. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they're going to do anything like that. Hello, OJ Secrets don't make us friends. LJ Game Charity, we're friends. We're friends. So yeah, it's an embarrassing story. Man. It's just like I said, just, like this person might watch. So <laughs> I don't want to sit there and you know, secret call them out, you know. But it was a funny story, though. Alright, Gunslinger, I'll, I'll get you your code in just a bit. I saw your message, man. Can't wait till Bloodstain. Bloodstain's gonna be fun. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, there we go. We got one. <laughs> story time. Alright, we'll finish out on this story. We'll finish out on this story, man. Um, <laughs> I didn't think anybody would, dude. I was like... All I gotta do is answer questions for five more minutes and we're good, dude. Or for like a few more minutes and we're good. I can just start plugging my, my socials and then bounce and finish this Astral Chain video that I'm actually really excited to edit. Um, all right, spill the beans. Okay, so <laughs> so when I was uh, when I was a junior in college, um, it was my first it was my first semester at Fresno State. Um, I just I just you know transferred over there from junior college. Shout outs to ASD. Uh, ASDF Kobe, thank you. Uh, shout out to my boy Emotes. You got those emotes. Also, exclusive Discord on the community tab on the main homepage. Check it out there. Get to, get you into Super Smash Brothers and all the different stuff that we play. So thank you so much for the sponsorship. I do appreciate that. Um, so yeah, let me tell you guys a story. So I was at <laughs> I was at Fresno State my first semester. You know I'm a you know I'm 20. How old am I in 2007? I'm like, well. I guess that ruins my whole 40 or age 45 thing, right? <laughs> okay, so uh, everybody here knows that I'm not 45 for the most part. So I'm, I'm a <laughs> so I'm, I'm 2007. Uh, 2007. I'm a, I think I'm like tw how old am I in 2007? I'm 20. I think I'm 20. Yeah, I'm 20. I'm 20 years old. Um, and, uh, and I, <laughs> and there was this, uh, there was this other, like, dorm, because, like, there were, there were, there were, or there were suites, and then there was, like, the, the dorms. I had a suite, okay, and the suites were, were based off of, um, gender, right? So, if you had a suite, you could only be with other guys. Now, if you had a dorm, like, the regular dorms at Fresno State, they were, um, co-ed dorms, or they were, some of them were, like, Unless the, the parents requested, they were all female or male dorms, and some of them were co-ed. So you can be right next to a, you know, or floor, it was based off of floors. So first floor could be males, second floor could be female, third floor could be males. Like, they alternated. So some of them were that. Some parents obviously wanted it to be, you know, separated. But it, it, at the end of the day, it didn't matter, right? But anyway, so I was in a suite. I was in a suite there. They were expensive as hell, by the way. 
Um, but I was in a suite, and my friend Andre, he that I talked about before, Andre, he comes out to some of the streams. He had like uh, a dorm there, co-ed dorm. So uh, there were some girls that stayed like in the next the next room right over on the first floor. So when I met my friend Andre in Japanese class, we're like, oh yeah, you know, you're a gamer. What do you play? He played PlayStation, a lot of PlayStation stuff. This was like right when the PS3 was coming out, right? This was 2007, fall to 27 or 2007. So PS3 came out, Xbox 360, or sorry, PS3 had already been out for a year. It had already been out for a year because it came out in 2006. Xbox 360 had already been out for two years. So we were playing Xbox 360, or I was playing Xbox 360. I was playing, I had a PS3 at the time. I had a Wii. So I was kind of like a more all, all different consoles. And he was just like PlayStation. But anyway, that's regardless of the point. Um, there used to be these girls that come over. There was this kind of this bigger, like, she wasn't just like, she wasn't thick. She was kind of like, kind of like fat. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I don't mean, like I said, I'm okay with thick girls. Thick girls are great. I like thick girls. Okay. But there was like, like fat girl, <laughs> like beyond thick. You know what I'm saying? Like, and like, she used to come over there um, all the time. And, oh man, I just, dude, I just said something kind of mean. <laughs> I was going to try to make sure I didn't say anything stupid. Oh, and I just did. Damn it. Um, <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> damn it. That's, I didn't mean it like that. Um, anyway, she was a little bit bigger. Take back when I, I take back when she wasn't fat. She was just big. She was really big. Um, and uh, there was like a really skinny girl, really weird skinny girl. Um, skinny white girl, big black girl. And um, <laughs> so all year we would we would all hang out there like we would all hang out and like watch movies and just like chill, play video games like they were cool. They, they seemed like cool girls. You know, nothing happened all year. Nothing happened all year. And then at the end of the semester before Christmas break, you know, everybody's getting ready to leave. Right. Every, and everybody actually already left. Like everybody already left um, the, the like the suites, like all of my friends or friends. <laughs> all the people that were in my suite that i room with they all left so it was just me and i was just like packing my stuff i was kind of getting things ready to go home for christmas break and um that that big girl like text texts me it was like hey um what are you doing i'm like oh i'm just in my room chilling she's like oh can i come up and i was like oh yeah sure like no problem so i'm like i'm like all right so she comes up and i'm just like hey what's up she's like hey what's up um she's like She's like, so are, are any of your roommates here? And I'm like, no, nah, everybody left. You know, I'm just like, like I said, just sitting down packing. I think I was like playing like COD. And like I turned it off when she got there. Like I, I just got done playing like a match because I was big into COD that year. That's when COD 4 came out that year. Um, And uh, <laughs> she was like, oh, yeah, that's perfect. And I was just like, wait, what, what's perfect? Why that my roommates aren't here? Like what's cause like she was actually kind of friends with my my. um. Uh, with the person that was next to me in the suite and I was like oh why is that perfect like you don't you wouldn't want to see that dude or whatever she's like she's like no it's just it's just it's just great that me and you are here and I'm like uh I'm like all right yeah yeah cool because like, like I said she's never tried nothing all year you know like all semester nothing you know it was just normal and then dude like it was like super awkward at that point so I'm just like sitting down and she's just looking at me and then she's like oh well you know my friend gave me Earmuffs for kids in the chat. If you're a kid or if you're somebody watching with small kid earmuffs, um, <laughs> she just she just she like she's like, oh well, my friend gave me this condom, and I you know, and she just pulled it out. I'm like, I'm like, <gasps> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, and I was like, and I think I was like, that's good. <laughs> I was like, I was like, that that's 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 good. She's like, oh, well, yeah, I just want to know if you wanted it. I'm like, no, I don't think I want it. <laughs> she was like, okay. She's like, she's like, we should lie down. And I'm like, I'm like, no, I'm, I don't know about that. And she's like, why not? Just like, chill. Let's just lie down and chill. I'm like, all right, whatever. She's, cause she said she was tired. So we go on top. Cause like we had these, we had these weird bunk beds, right? So it was like, you had your desk on the bottom and it was like a bunk bed and you slept on the top one. Okay, you slept on the top one, and then the bunk room was on the bottom, dude. And like we, and like, look, I was actually a lot bigger than I am in 2000, 2007, I was bigger. I was like two hundred and I was about like two hundred and five pounds because I was playing, I was playing fullback and safety, okay, for football. Um, so I was a bit, I was a bit bigger than I am. All right, so I was, I was heavier, and she had to have been like two, like at least like 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 two thirty, like a solid, solid outside linebacker. You know what I'm saying? Like in the NFL. So she had to at least be two 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 thirty, or at least two fifteen. She was at least a strong safety minimum, um, and you know. So we both get on top of there. 
bro, I swear my bed almost cracked. Like the boards like it like crack. I'm like, oh, I'm thinking that my P my PlayStation and like my, my <laughs> I'm thinking I'm like, oh no, I guess that's gonna break. <laughs> It's like that's gonna break, and I'm like, oh snap! I hear some crack, and I'm like, yo, we both too heavy for this. Like, and this shit kind of like wrapped her arm around me. I'm like, oh no, I know what's going on here, and I'm like, oh, I think it's good. So I'm like, I'm like, hey, I think this is not a good idea. And I kind of just like got up, and I'm like, you want to get something to eat? And she's like, um, she's like, no, I'm not really hungry. I'm like, and I, I was about to say something really mean, but I'm not gonna say it. Uh. <laughs> Um, but I was like, all right, that's cool. I'm like, well, you know, I'm just going to go grab something to eat. If you want, you can go with me to the, like, go to, like, the the little place that we have to eat on campus. And I was, she's like, all right, I'll go with you. So we went there and we ate. And then we went back. She went back to her place. I went back to mine. And, like, I never saw her again. That was the last time I, oh, no, I did see her again. She was like, I had her, like, on Facebook or whatever. Like, so like, we were friends on Facebook. So I did see her on there. And she went, like, goth. It was, like, weird. She went, like, all black makeup and, like, lipstick and clothing. And she just got all, like, super weird later um, down the line. But either way, that was that was the story, man. That was one of the stories. <laughs> there's, there's, there's more, but that was the one. that It was a lot of me just, like, a lot of me turning down stuff at times, man, because, like, and I don't know, some of these girls are weird, bro, um, so, yeah, um, but, yeah, that's it, that's all I got, good thing you didn't accept the condom, uh, you could have became a big day, well, not if I used it, no, uh, I know that bed was pissed, <laughs> oh, my God, <laughs> smelling like high cholesterol, that is me, Charity, that is so Oh my god, that is messed up. <laughs> uh, not as you fucked up. Oh my gosh, dude. Um, <laughs> and, you know, she was like, bro, I was just trying to get out the room, bro. I was just trying to get out the room, man. <clears throat> uh, yo, big girls need love too. Oh no, uh, ap no, I love my ducky, bro. I, Dude, I'm with you. Like, I am 100% with you. A lot of my friends, like, growing up, because I, I went, like, my high school that I went to, it was, like, 75% white, right? Which has nothing to do with what, what type of girls you like. But a lot of my friends were always into, like, paper, paper thin, you know, super skinny girls. Like, super, super skinny. I was, like, never, never really been. I mean, I've dated some, but I've never really been, like, into, like, super thin girls, you know? Like, so, yeah, thick girls need, big girls need loving, too, man. I'm 100% I'm with you. Not saying that I've never dated a really big woman, you know, but if you're a big woman, you got to have, you know, I'm going to stop right there. <laughs> I'm going to stop. I'm going to just stop right there. I'm going to just stop right there, dude. <laughs> Five Nights and Freddy says she was hungry for you and some, some Twinkie bread. Or says, go on and watch the rest of the Warriors in Portland game. Come back when it's finished. All right, man. <laughs> no, you're lying, Jose. Yeah, I'm just going to stop right there, dude. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, guys. That pretty much that wraps it up for the show today. Um, OJ keeps said to you, I got to censor myself. I got to censor myself. Um, got to be careful. Um, no, I like, I like, I like, thick girls are great though. Thick girls, like, I, I would never, like, in terms of like wife or like serious girlfriend, I'd never be with like a super, super, super skinny girl. Not that, like I said, not that there's anything wrong with that, but like, it's just, it's just weird like i don't want like a girl to have like a bigger like a smaller butt than me that just that just seems weird you know what i'm saying like if you got a bigger butt than your your girlfriend like i'm not that's not that's not something that i want to happen you know what i'm saying <laughs> like, that's not or if like you know like her thighs are like super thick like it's just not i don't know man i'm not trying to be like way bigger in, in certain aspects you know um so yeah <clears throat> um but thank you so much for the support guys i appreciate it i guess that was a funny uh story to end out on um funny story to end out on and uh oh uh, yeah so make sure you guys check out the videos on the channel we got plenty of content already up um <laughs> charity you're funny 
Uh, we got plenty of videos already up on the channel. So make sure you guys check out my Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 video. Uh, so make sure you guys check that out. And uh, Gunslinger will make sure to get you your code right now, dude. I got the I got the page up, so you should get your code very soon here. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Check out my video if you haven't seen it. Astral Chain video tomorrow morning is going to be a hype Astral Chain video for you guys. So make sure you look out for that. I'm going to be answering a lot of you guys' questions that come up here when it comes to Astral Chain in terms of like gameplay, potential gameplay length, um, content, collector's edition. All that stuff's going to be in one video, Astral Chain hype video. So should be a lot of fun. Uh, but all right, guys, that wraps it up for this one here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for the new sponsors. We got, we got two new sponsors today. So that was great. Um, I think somebody might have already unsponsored because they didn't, it didn't update from 165. So <laughs> somebody might have already unsponsored <laughs> just so we can hear that story, but that's okay. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And I will see you guys for the next one. <laughs> Peace.